I want to quickly go into the importance of using Filmic Pro on your smartphone. When you use the standard camera app on your smartphone, there's a lot of auto functions that are happening in the background that you don't have any control over. When you use Filmic Pro, you're able to set all those settings. If you do take that footage into an editing software, your computer is going to be able to handle it and run it well. Generally speaking, the editing software has a tough time with smartphone standard footage just because of all those auto functions it tries to set. So that is why using Filmic Pro is so critical when filming your own videos. I'm going to take you through a tutorial on the settings of Filmic Pro and how to use Filmic Pro so it's not overwhelming when you open up the app. So I'm gonna switch over to the phone here. Let me get my screen record going. Okay, so here, as you can see me, I uh, have it turned on selfie mode. I'm gonna go through the settings here. But you have these three colors right here down in the lower left hand side. So you can actually click that and as you see, I'll move this around. It's gonna change the color look of my image, of my video image. So if you wanna be a little creative and you wanna, you wanna give it a different style, different look, I generally say you don't need to uh, worry about this as much. So this button down here, the AWB, it, it looks grayed out right now, but that stands for Auto White Bounce. So what that does, that option, when you click it, it's gonna make the whites white. So it's gonna make your picture look the most clean. And you can see behind me, this light, you can see that, that it is white now. So if I didn't do that auto white balance, that light might look orange or blue or have some different color tone to it that, that just doesn't make the image look right. Unless you are experienced in stylizing your video with different colors and whatnot, that's when it can be kind of cool, but I just generally recommend clicking that auto white balance to get the most clean look. So we're gonna keep moving. So those, the next button over from the, from the three circles is, uh, it looks like a dot with three lines around it. That's actually for when you're filming with the other camera, with this camera here. So we're not gonna worry about that one right now. You got this A button here. That's actually for more on focusing your image. If you click here, you got the zebras. Um, um, you don't need to worry too much. Your camera does a pretty good job on doing, on getting the focus correct on you. Um, and again, I'll show that with a circle and a square box here. I'll show how those work. Now we're gonna go through the settings and there's a lot going on here, but uh, we're just gonna go through the basics. So the first option you have is resolution. Now you have 1080p. On this face, this camera right here that we're looking at, that's, that's doing the selfie mode, you only have 1080p, so that's your only option. If I flip the camera around to these ones, these have a higher quality camera, you can actually push it to 4K. Now, I still recommend using this camera that's facing here, because when you're setting up a shot, you're able to see how the shot looks before you film, versus when you're, when you're going this direction, I'm not able to see kind of how the camera's set up. In 1080p, especially from phones, for Facebook, for YouTube, 1080p is still a phenomenal resolution to use. The next option is you got frame rate. Again, with this front facing camera, your highest option is 30 frames per second. Now I wanna jump into what is a frame per second. Frame per second is how many pictures the camera takes in one second. Now I wanna dive a little bit deeper. The reason why we use 30 frames per second or 24 frames per second, because it's scientifically proven that our eye can actually only capture 24 pictures a second. Now the test to do this is take your hand, put it in front of your face. Now when you wave it in front of your face, you're gonna see that it's blurry. If I were to increase it to 60 frames or 120 pictures, frames per second, I'm gonna be able to, it's gonna be crystal clear moving it in front of my face. I'm gonna be able to see every motion. It won't be blurred at all. So to get that more cinematic look, you want to use that 20, that 24 frames or that 30 frames per second. And I and I recommend, again, on this front-facing camera, I recommend using, it's, it's defaulted on 30 frames per second. You can just leave it right there. Your audio, now this is gonna be a big one and this is actually gonna be a, in another video, but you have two options essentially. You can use the iPhone mic, which is right underneath the camera here, or what I recommend using is a lavalier like this one that plugs into the bottom of your iPhone. That gets crystal clear audio and audio is one of the most important factors behind filming a quality video. And the lavalier is just a small mic that plugs into your phone and is not expensive and you can find a quality one on Amazon. We're actually gonna link up all the tools that we use 
in a PDF so that you can have it on hand and be able to find the exact ones that we're using. Okay, the next one you got device. I always have the option saved to camera roll turned on. So every video that I take here, it's just immediately saved into my camera roll. You have your presets. I wouldn't worry too much about this. You can save different color profiles or different presets on how you want your video to look. That's kind of for video editors like us to be able to use, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. You have your CMS setting. That's kind of your, your, your time code track and how you're keeping track of the clips that you're filming again. You don't need to worry about that unless you're filming multiple scenes. You got your hardware, so if you're using a gimbal, you, can, you, you got your DJI Osmo Mobile, your Xyron Smooth 4, your Movie Cinema Robot. If you're using one of those, you would turn that on so the app will understand that it's using a gimbal and make the filming more efficient, more effective. You got your sync. Um, you don't need to worry about logging in or creating a profile here because you're just filming video. You can share it with your community. You can share videos directly from the app to Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Vimeo, all those. But I recommend holding off on just a sec. Um, you got your overview. You can kind of see exactly what presets you have, 30 frames per second. Stabilization, that's only for the cameras on this side. And with the tools that I'm going to show you, you won't need stabilization. You don't need to necessarily worry about that. But if you are filming with that camera, make sure that is checked on. Then you got your camera. This is where I can, right now, it's selected on selfie. You can turn it to the wide, and you got your telephoto, if you want it zoomed in. And because this is the iPhone XX, I don't have, the zoom and the wide are the same, but if you have the iPhone 11 with the three cameras, that's gonna actually change the, uh, the, the ratio on those lenses. So again, we're gonna use selfie mode. Torch guide, again, those are grayed out, nothing that you need to worry about there. Information. That's more tutorials if you want to get more in depth on Filmic Pro and how to use it. Okay, the last two buttons here, you have the play button, which is right next to the settings button. This is a button because I had you in the settings save it to camera roll, you don't need to worry about this button because this one, if you didn't have that save to camera roll button clicked, it would actually save it to the app first and then you can pick and choose which one that you want to save to the camera roll. I just recommend saving them all to the camera roll and deleting them after it's all said and done with ones that you're not using, so you don't have to worry about this. All right, there's a couple other tools here that are on the screen that you'll see. Um, you got the circle, you got a little box, and you have this slider on the right-hand side. The slider is just a zoom, whoa. So you don't need to necessarily touch that a whole bunch. I just keep it on zoomed out as much as possible. This box right here, that's gonna be your focus. So obviously if you're talking to the camera, you're delivering a message, you want it focused on your face, in particular your eyes, so you get it close to that section. Once you have it there, you click it, you hold, turns red like that. That means it's locked. You can move that out of the way if you want. This circle right here is your exposure circle. So generally speaking, you want it exposed on your face you put it right there, do the same thing, you click it, turns red, that means it's locked. It's not gonna change no matter what the lighting environment, if the lighting environment changes. And then that final button right there, that's your record button. As soon as you click that, you're off and running, you're filming, and you're making a quality message. So that is the settings that you have for Filmic Pro.